Hello beautiful yogis, welcome to my yoga class. I am Elise and I will be your teacher today. I hope you enjoy uh, our practice together. Uh, so today we'll do a bit of everything, a bit of back bends, hip opening and a bit of core. So uh, sit on your mat, get ready and put a smile on your face. So you can come to a comfortable seated position, grabbing your butt cheeks so you remove the flesh from the sitting bones and you really feel anchored. You can bring your palms up or down, whatever you want today. And you can roll your shoulders up, back and down. And you can softly close your eyes for a moment. Take a moment to settle on your mat. You can leave all the worries, all the stress, all the tension at the door. And you can turn your attention inward. And you can start by connecting with your breath. Just observe every inhale and every exhale. Let the breath be your anchor in the present moment. Take a moment to soften your face especially the forehead and the jaw. Relax your shoulders, relax the upper back. Feel the weight of your arms on your lap. Relax the arms, the hand and the fingers. Relax your hips and your legs, your feet and even the toes. And you can start to slow down the breath, increasing the length of your inhales and increasing the length of your exhales. And with every exhale, you can feel your body softening. You can feel the tensions going away. And maybe you can observe how your mind gets calmer. You can join your hands in the prayer position in front of your heart center. And here you can set an intention for your practice today. What is it that you need? can be something physical, like you want to gain more strength, more flexibility. Or maybe something a bit more emotional, like gaining some compassion, some kindness, some patience. Whatever you need today. And to anchor your intention, you can take a long, deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. One more time, big breath in. And slow release. To gentle breathing you can rub your palms together with energy to create some heat now cup your palms in front of your eyes and feel that energy maybe you can feel some vibrations here blink your eyes open spread your fingers and release now place the fingertips on each side of your bum, so not forward, not back, really align with the hips. Inhale both arms up, looking towards the thumb, join the palms, and exhale, fingertips on the floor and your gaze goes towards the floor as well. We'll do it three times. 
Inhale, arms up. Keep your shoulders down. Join the palms. Gaze towards the thumb. And exhale, down. Look towards the floor. Again. Inhale, arms up. Gaze towards the ceiling. And exhale. Look down. Fingertips on the floor. Now, inhale, arms up. Keep the palms separated. Inhale, lift towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, twist. Right arm, left knee, left hand behind. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, press on the knee. And twist to the back of the room, squeezing the navel. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Twist to the back of the room. And exhale, you twist from the bottom of the spine. Complete your exhale. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, twist to the other side. Left hand, right knee, right hand behind. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, press on the knee and twist towards the back of the room. See if you can align the chin with the shoulder. Inhale, you lengthen your spine. And exhale from the bottom of the spine, you twist. And you breathe deeply. Complete your exhale. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, release. You can make your way into a tabletop position. Onto all fours, make sure that the wrists are under the shoulders, the knees under the hips, and the feet disappear, disappear behind the heels. Press on your hands, open the fingers wide, don't collapse the head and the shoulder between the ears. So you want to slightly dome the upper back. Now drop the belly, arch the back, lift the tailbone, gaze up, inhale. And exhale, round the upper back, squeeze the navel, tap the tailbone, look towards the feet. Two more cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the back. Look up. And slowly exhale, round the upper back. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, gaze towards the feet. One last time. Inhale, arch, look up. And exhale, round, slowly, mindfully. Inhale, back to a neutral position. Now send your left leg, your right leg back, pointing the toes, and the left hand forward with the pinky facing down. Spinal balance. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, round. Bring your elbow to your knee. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, round. Press the floor with your right hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, only let the left hand on the floor. The right toes go right behind the left foot. Come on the inner edge of the right foot. Press on your left hand. Inhale, lift your right arm off the floor. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. And breathe. Squeeze the belly for more balance. Squeeze the bum. Inhale, reach for the ceiling. Exhale, bring the right hand on the floor. Lift the right leg off the floor and release to a tabletop position and you change. Now left leg to the back, pointing the toes, bum up and the hip. And right hand to the front of the room with the pinky finger facing down. Inhale, you lengthen. Exhale, press on the floor, round the upper back, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. One more time. Exhale, round knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right hand on the floor. The left toes come right behind the right foot. Come on the inner edge of the left foot. Press on the right hand. Inhale, your left arm up towards the ceiling. Stack your shoulder. Squeeze the belly, squeeze the bum. Press on your right hand. And keep breathing. Inhale, reach for the ceiling. Exhale, left hand on the floor. Lift your left leg off the floor and come back to a tabletop position. All right. Now tuck all 10 toes on the floor. Give them a good stretch. Open your fingers wide. Gaze between the thumbs. Press on your hands and hover the knees from the floor. 
and we stay here for three, two, one, and bring your knees down. Now extend the left leg towards the back of the room, tucking five toes. Press on your hands and bring the right leg to meet the left leg. You're in the high plank. Gaze between the thumbs. You want to squeeze the belly, engage the legs, engage the core. And breathe. And we stay in your high plank for five, four, three. Keep breathing. Two, one. And from here, exhale to a downward dog. Press the floor. It's the first down dog of the day, so you can pedal your feet, you can move your hips, you can gaze to the side. Make sure that you can dangle your head, that you don't have any tension in the neck. And come back to stillness. You really want to sink the, thigh, the, the chest towards the thighs, keeping a long spine and pressing the heels down the floor. All, five, all ten fingers are widely open, biceps rolling forward. Now gaze between your hands. You can walk towards the front of the mat. When you reach the front, bring your hands on your shins. Inhale, look halfway up with a flat back. And exhale, fall forward. Again, inhale, look halfway up. And exhale, Uttanasana, fall forward. Now slowly make a big circle with your hand. Come to standing, rise up. Open your chest towards the ceiling. Bring your hips forward. And you can slightly back bend if that's available for you. And exhale, hands to your heart. And release. Good. Now you can separate your feet a little bit more than hips distance apart. Lift your toes and then roll your toes back on the mat. Bring your hands on your side. Now inhale your left arm towards the ceiling. And exhale, bend to the side. So your hips go on the left, your arms go to the right and you gaze towards the, feet, the ceiling. Roll your chest open towards the ceiling and keep breathing. Now squeeze the belly, inhale, come back up, exhale, bring your arm down. Now inhale the right arm towards the ceiling, elongate and exhale, bend to the side. The hip towards the right, and the arms towards the left. Roll your chest open towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. Completely exhale, squeeze the belly. Inhale, come up and exhale, release. Good, now bring your feet, heel toe your feet to hips distance apart. Bring your hands together, interlace the fingers, squeeze your shoulder blades, chest expansion. Inhale, open the chest, hinge from the hips, and slowly exhale, fall forward. You can keep a slight bend in the knees if more comfortable. And for a deeper stretch of the shoulder, you keep the palms together. And breathe. Bring your weight forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, slowly come up. And release and shake, 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 and come back to standing. Now you can walk to the front of your mat for mountain pose. So in mountain pose, you want to have your feet together, lift your kneecap so you really engage the quads. Your butt doesn't stick out. You want to bring your pelvis forward and your tailbone down. Strong abs, shoulders away from the ears, hands to your chest. And here, just close your eyes for a moment. Acknowledge your presence on the mat and feel the weight of the body equally distributed on each four corner of your feet. You can sway from side to side. Really observe. Observe the tiniest of the sensation, every certain movement. 
the awakeness of it. And if you're in slight movement, you can come back to the center and to stillness. You can open your eyes and get ready for sun salutations. Inhale, rise up, salute the sun. You can back bend, open the chest towards the ceiling. And exhale, hinge from the hips and fall forward. Inhale, halfway lift, halfway lift, flat back. Bring the hands on the floor, exhale, come to, the high, come to your high plank. Now bring your knees on the floor, shift the weight forward slightly, bend the elbows alongside the body, bring your chin on the floor, your chest, and you can slide for a gentle cobra. Squeeze your shoulder blades, open your heart, and slightly look up if that's available for you. Now tuck the toes, press on your hand, exhale, downward dog, and breathe. Reach the heels towards the floor, press on your hands so you sink your chest towards the thighs. Complete your exhale, look between your hands, bring the right foot and the left foot forward. Inhale with a flat back, and exhale Uttanasana, fall forward. Inhale, rise up for mountain pose. And exhale, hands to your heart. And one more time. Inhale, rise up, hips forward. You can slightly back bend. And exhale, hinge from the hips, fall forward. Inhale, look halfway up with a flat back. Exhale, right foot and left foot back. Here you can take a chaturanga. Bring your weight forward, the shoulders past the wrist. Bend the elbows from the inside, alongside the body. Shift your feet. Inhale for up dog or cobra. Tuck the toes, press on your hand, use your core. Downward dog. And breathe. Complete your exhale. Look between your hands. Right foot, left foot forward. Inhale with a flat back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale all the way up, rise up, chest towards the ceiling, hip forwards, back bend if you like, and exhale, hands to your chest. Release the hands, inhale, squat down, bend the knees, chair pose. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your belly, look down. Can you see your toes? If you can't, it means your knees are too much forward, so bring them slightly back. And breathe. I know it's burning a little bit, but it's good. Inhale and exhale, fall forward. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, you can hop to Chaturanga or step. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg towards the ceiling. Come on your left toes. Inhale again. Exhale. Right knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. One more time. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Round the upper back, squeeze the belly. Inhale, three-legged dog. One more time. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right foot between the hands and the front of the mat. Good. Come on your fingertips, open your heart. Inhale, lift your arms up for a high lunge. Settle in your lunge. And breathe, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands on the floor. Left hand stays flat. Inhale, the right arm towards the ceiling, opening the chest for a twist. And breathe. Inhale, reach for the ceiling, elongate. Exhale, right hand on the floor. Bring the right foot to meet the left foot, you're in high plank. Exhale, all the way down on your belly. Flatten your feet, forehead on the floor. Press on your hands. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, forehead on the floor. One more time. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, gaze towards your right foot. Inhale to the center. Exhale, gaze towards your left foot. Inhale to the center. And exhale, 
come back with the forehead on the floor. Tuck all ten toes, press on your hands, inhale, lift yourself back up to a high plank, and downward dog. And breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale your left foot towards the ceiling. Three-legged dog. Come on your right toes. Inhale again. Exhale, shift the weight forward. Left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, weight forward. Left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Now exhale, knee to nose, round the upper back, make contact. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot between the hands at the front of the mat. Come on your fingertips. Inhale, all the way up for a high lunge. Set a nana in your lunge, shoulders down. Inhale, exhale, hands on the floor. The right hand stays. Inhale, the left arm towards the ceiling. Shoulders are stacked. Press on your right hand so your shoulders are away from the ears. Inhale for the ceiling. Exhale, bring your left arm down. Left foot meet the right foot for a high plank. Gaze between your thumbs, squeeze your bum, squeeze your belly. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, bend the elbows. Inhale, upward dog. Tuck the toes, exhale, downward dog. And breathe. Complete your exhale. Look between the hands. Right foot, left foot forward. Inhale with a flat back. And exhale forward. Bend the knees, squat down, inhale your arms up for chair pose. And breathe. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up. Open the chest towards the ceiling. And exhale, hands to your heart. Bring your, your arms alongside the body, palm facing forward. Close your eyes for a moment and observe, observe the subtle sensations, your heart pumping into your chest, maybe some vibrations, maybe some thinning in the fingers. It's prana, the life energy, the life force that's flowing. Now come back to the front of the mat. Mountain pose, kneecaps lifted, tailbone down. Inhale, both arms up, opening. And exhale, hinge from the hips and fold. Slightly bend the knees so your hands are on the floor. Bring your right foot back. Good. Now come on your fingertips, open your chest. Inhale, only the arms over the ears. Elongate. Inhale here, exhale, swipe your arms back, squeeze the shoulder blades, activate your arms, airplane lunge. Now press on your left foot, lift your right leg off the floor and come for airplane lunge, airplane pose. Look down, squeeze the belly, quiet the mouth. Inhale here, exhale, bend the left knee, slowly bring the right toes back. Inhale, lift your arms up for high lunge. And exhale, warrior two. Settle in your warrior. Press on the other edge of the back foot. Your shoulders are stacked on top of your hips. Gaze towards your middle finger. Your left knee goes towards the left, not towards the inside. Now straighten the front leg. Your hips shift back as if you wanted to close drawer behind you. And you want to reach something in front of you. And now you can bring your hand down for Trikonasana, triangle pose. You can use a block. You can bring your hands on your shin. You can bring your hands slightly 
higher behind under the knee or on the floor roll your chest open towards the ceiling shoulders away from the ears and breathe inhale here exhale bring your right arm on the floor bend your left knee come back to a low lunge open the chest inhale now press on your left foot bring your right foot forward squat down inhale for chair pose inhale exhale fold forward inhale look halfway up creating space and exhale fold bend the knees bring your hands on the floor and now bring your left leg back towards the back of the mat come on your fingertips open your chest inhale lift your arms over the ears only the arms move elongate engage strong legs Inhale, exhale, swipe the arms back for airplane and squeeze the shoulder blades. Lead with your heart, heart forward. Now press on your right foot, lift your left leg off the floor and come for airplane pose. Your toes are pointing back, arms are engaged, chest open, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, exhale, bend the right knee, bring the toes at the back of the mat hands on the floor now press on your right foot bring your left foot forward squat down inhale chair pose oh no I forgot something I forgot your your warrior huh so bring your hands back on the mat bring your left foot back towards the back of the mat inhale open for high lunge good inhale here and exhale, open for warrior two. Your right knee goes towards the right so you can see your big toe. Arms are strong, elongating, reaching back and forth. Shoulders down, your face is, gala is relaxed, gaze between the middle finger. Inhale here, exhale, straighten the front leg. Your hips shift back, you wanna reach, reach, elongate, and then you can come in your triangle pose, Trikonasana. Use a block, bring your hands on your shin, bring your hands on the floor, whatever is accessible. Roll your chest open towards the ceiling. You can gaze up or you can gaze down. But you breathe. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your left hand on the floor. Bend the front knee, lift the left heel. Come into a low lunge. Open your chest. Press on your right foot. Bring the left foot squat down. Inhale for a chair pose. Exhale, swipe your arms back. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, release. Arms down and breathe. Now bring your hands to your chest, come on your fingertips, slowly start to bend the knees, squat down, come all the way down. Bring your hands on the floor and you can sit down. Okay. Again, you can remove the flesh from your sitting bones, you can bring the soles of your feet together. Bring your hands behind you and slightly lift the pelvic floor or lift your bum so the pelvic floor is closer to the heels. Slide your hands under your anchors for butterfly. So you want to bring your thumb, or you can see your thumb. Bring the elbows inside of the knees. Press your knees down so you want to pull on your, on your anchor. Inhale, open the chest. And on the exhale, fall. Lead with the heart. You can slightly lift the chin up so you're not tempted to round. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, fold. Keep pressing on your knees. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, fold. And keep breathing. Inhale, 
deeply and exhale to release. Good. Now with your peace fingers make a little hook and grab your big toes and with your thumb you secure that little hook. Now slightly shift your weight forward, lift your heels off the floor and come to that sweet spot of balance. Good. Once you have it, you can slowly start to open your legs to the side. So you can stay here if you want, if that's enough for you today. As long as you have an open chest and your shoulders are away from the ears. Or you can go slightly further and open your legs all the way to the side. Always keep a micro bend if needed. Keep your heart open. Smile. I know it might be shaking a little bit, but it's good. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly bring the soles of your feet together and release down. Good. Now extend the legs in front of you. So you can slightly separate the legs if you want. You bring the heels towards the wall in front of you, what's in front of you, and the toes slightly towards you. It's called Dandasana. Your, your hands are aligned with your hips, fingertips on the floor. Squeeze the belly to create space. Inhale, both arms up. And with the chest open and the flat back, exhale and fall forward. So here, you can be here, and that's absolutely fine. You can be with the hands on your on your ankle or even deeper your hands behind your feet wherever you are today when you inhale you slightly shift your you slightly lift your chest and when you exhale you fall a little deeper inhale lengthen the spine lift your chest and exhale fold remember that in that position Paschimottanasana the most important is to have the chest on the thigh and not the nose on the knee so you inhale, you lengthen the spine, creating space, and exhale, fold. Again, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. And breathe. Complete your exhale. Inhale, lift your arms up, and exhale release to the side. Good. Now, I do it facing you. Bring your left, your left heel in the crease of your right thigh with your left knee on the floor. If needed, you can bring a block and you can, you can put a block under the knee. The toes are towards your face. Again, hands to the side. Inhale your arms up and slowly exhale and fall forward. Your hands must go somewhere. Maybe it's on the shin, maybe on the ankle, or maybe past the foot, wherever you are today. Inhale, open, lift up the chest, and exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, lift your arms up, and exhale, release to the side, and change. Bring the right heel in the crease of the right thigh. Again, use a block under the knee if you want, if it's more comfortable. Hands to the side, inhale, both arms up, and exhale, slowly fall forward. When you inhale, you lengthen, you lift your chest. And when you exhale, you can fold a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold. And keep breathing. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, release to the side. Good. 
Now bend your knees so the knees are pointing towards the ceiling, feet are flat on the floor. Good. And here from here we go toward both bows. So extend the arms, no first, bring the hands behind the thigh. Slightly shift the weight forward, lift your calf muscle of the floor, shoulders down, chest open. You can stay here or you can decide to release the arms in front of you. And breathe. And we stay here for five. My teacher, Benasho, she used to do that. She would tell us a story for five. And then, you know, she would tell us something and then four. And I'm doing exactly the same thing. Three, two, one. Keep smiling and release. Okay. So you've seen a different position, either the hand on the thigh you release, and then the third one is to extend the leg, but don't compromise the posture of your back. So again, shift your weight forward, lift the calf muscle of the floor. You can stay here, or you can bring the arm forward, pinky down, or you can decide to extend the legs if you have enough strength today. And we stay here for three, two, one, and then slowly come on your back, low boat, and down very well we are almost finishing now you can bring both knees to the chest and give them a big hug releasing the hip flexors you can sway from side to side massaging the spine now extend the left leg pointing the toes of each foot release the right hand on the floor palm facing down and with your left hand you draw the right knee towards the opposite side and you gaze towards your right hand sometimes you hear a little crack in the back you're completely twisting so you really want to breathe through the belly to send oxygen to the digestive organs keep breathing Complete your exhale, inhale and bring your right knee towards the center, give it one last squeeze and change. Left knee to the chest, you can squeeze it tight, release the left arm on the floor, palm facing down and with your right hand draw your left knee towards the right and you want to gaze towards your left hand to have a full twist of the spine. And you breathe deeply from the belly. Complete your exhale, inhale back to the center. Give your left knee another good squeeze. Bring the right knee to meet the left knee. Now let's get settled for happy baby pose. So you want to bring your thighs toward your chest, lift your feet towards the floor as if they were pushing the floor. Open the knees to the side. Here you can grab your big toe, you can grab the outer edge of the feet and you press your knee down and you can find your happy baby. You can roll on your spine, you can let yourself fall on each side. You can, lengthen, you can straighten one leg after the other both legs together, really find playful movements here. I love this pose, my students also love this pose. And here you come back to the center, bend your knees, bring your legs on the floor, extend your legs in front of you and get ready for Shavasana, the corpse pose. Make sure that you're comfortable, that your head, your neck, your spine, your tailbone are aligned. Slightly bring the arms away from the body with the palm facing forward. Your leg open as wide as the mat and your feet dropping on each side of the mat. And now you can take in all the benefits of your yoga practice. We'll do three belly breathing so you can exhale all the air that you have in the belly. Now imagine 
imagine you have a balloon in your belly. Inhale and inflate the belly, let the balloon. The air comes to the chest, opening the rib cage up to the collarbones, and you hold it. Hold it. And slowly exhale. The chest falls, the belly deflates, the navel goes towards the earth. And again. Inhale, inflate your belly like a balloon. The air comes to the chest, opening the rib cage, up to the collarbones, and you hold it at the top. Hold it, and slowly exhale. The chest falls, rib cage closes, belly deflates, navel to the spine. And one last time. Inhale. Inflate your belly like a balloon. The air fills up the chest, up to the collarbones, and you hold. Hold. And slowly release. Chest falls, belly drops, navel to the spine. And come back to a gentle breathing. And here you can bring your attention to the feet and you can switch your feet off let them be completely relaxed completely released your legs your hips switched off no more tension you can feel your legs and your feet heavy sinking into the mat. Your right arm and your left arm, your shoulders switched off. They're completely relaxed, sinking into the floor. Your abdomen, your chest and your back switch off, no more tension, completely relaxed, your shoulders, your neck, the back of your head, feel them sinking into the floor, heavy and relaxed. Relax the forehead and the jaw. And here you can bring your attention to the breath. Staying present with every inhale and every exhale. And if your mind drifts away, you can acknowledge the thoughts, but let them go and come back to the breath. You can stay here in Shavasana for as long as you want, or you can gently bring your attention back to your surroundings, observing the sounds that are around you. Feel the air on your skin. Maybe you notice a smell or you have a taste in your mouth. Without opening the eyes, you can visualize the room around you. And you can visualize the body laying on the floor. And you can bring back your attention to the body. And you 
can start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. You can, re you can move your head from one side to the other very slowly. Bring your head to the center and swipe your arms behind your head. Imagine you're a cat and you stretch. Inhaling and opening the front of the body again. And then you can bring the knees to the chest. Hold them with your hand. And then softly let yourself, let yourself fall on either side, coming in the fetal position. And here you can take a moment to honor your body for allowing you to do yoga today, for taking your places. You can honor yourself for making the time to be on your mat, taking care of your body and of your mind. And maybe come back to the attention you set at the beginning of the practice. Now placing your hands on the floor. You can press yourself back up to a seated position with your legs crossed and your eyes closed for one more moment. Finding a gentle lift in your heart and then in the flow of energy, coming back to the vertical position. You can bring your hands in front of your heart in prayer position. May there be peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your hearts. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. Have a beautiful day. Oh, beautiful evening. Bye.